Here's the final septarian he cut open and he polished this one too. And this one was stunning. Take a look at this. That is a beautiful septarian. So right here where it's kind of more white, I believe that's barite right there. Oh, look at that though. That is beautiful. Let's take a look at the other side. What a nice specimen. He's got some nice stuff on that claim. Okay, hopefully this is picking up lighting wise. We've got a, a black light here. We're looking to see how these things fluoresce and phosphoresce. So you can see the calcite gives a nice orange. And then the barite will kind of give this sometimes a purple color. Yeah, when he turns it off, it gets really cool. See that? Oh, it's so cool. This one over here has more barite in it, I think. Cool stuff. <laughs> neat. And there you go, some neat stuff. Huge thanks to Eric for cutting all those things for me and even polishing them up. And that was really cool seeing them under the UV light. I really need to get some good UV lights myself, some uh, low, uh, short wave and long wave. So eventually need to add that to the stuff I've got. Um, but for now, yeah, looking forward to moving up to Idaho and exploring a new area. And hopefully I'll get some decent rock hounding done here before running up there. I want to get back to Eric's claim at least once, maybe hit one or two other places before we have to leave here. And I'm getting there. I'm getting well enough that here in probably two weeks, I'll be able to get out and rock hound. Exciting. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.